health issue is an issue currently being addressed by the Rocky Mountain NAACP. The front page story of Westward's March 28th publication looked into Denver youth and crime. Its cover art drew concerns. Absolutely, yeah. From so, DU Critical Race and Ethnic Studies Director Reggie Byron. My initial thought was from the hairstyle to the hoodie, um, the image reflects harmful stereotypes that demonize black youth and point them out as the only culprits of violent crime. Byron says the illustration perpetuates a negative view of black people. The image actually ref re reflects and reifies what sociologist Elijah Anderson calls the iconic Negro, um, who is perpetually up to no good. Westward Editor-in-Chief Patricia Calhoun says the art was designed by a freelance illustrator. She says the concept was to use a young male figure with an unidentifiable race. She usually sees a final cover before approval, but this time she was out of the office hours before the publication deadline. Calhoun issued an apology April 17th. It reads in part, quote, from the comments we received, our reporter captured the situation accurately, but our cover did not. And for that, we apologize wholeheartedly to the BIPOC community and the community at large, end quote. The people in the room might not have even thought anything about it, right? Just because we're so used to these types of images. A new cover has since been added to the digital version of the story. Westward went on to say it plans to have a more in-depth approval process and seek more diverse voices. But Byron says actions need to match the magazine's words so an issue like this doesn't happen again. We can't just sort of bank it on their uh, blanket uh, apology. Westward's editor says covers are discussed by her or the art director and the story author before they're published. In the studio, Janelle Finch, 9 News.